Leading local tonight in our top story, more cases of a deadly livestock disease have been confirmed right here in North Dakota. Anthrax is a bacterial infection which can be fatal to animals and usually occurs in areas of the state that have experienced it before. It can also be transmitted to humans. In today's Eye on Ag and Energy, KX News' Kiara Brown shows us the proactive measures ranchers can take. Eye on Ag and Energy on KX is sponsored by Lignite Energy Council. North Dakota State Veterinarian Dr. Ethan Andres reports there are now seven cases of anthrax in the state. Six confirmed by the lab and an additional case his team is calling most probable. All cases are out of Grant County where the disease has popped up before. Anthrax is one of those organisms that is unfortunately common to the Midwest. It's part of our culture. It's an organism that lives in the soil. The disease is most common in the lower parts of the state and up and down the Red River because of weather patterns, and it can live in soil for long periods of time. Weather conditions really play an important role in when it appears. Uh, it, can li it lives in the soil. That's how, that's how it survives. It becomes encapsulated in spores. And the spores can live up to five years in, in soil depths down to about six inches. But in deeper soil depths, it can live indefinitely. The symptoms of anthrax are staggering livestock, shortness of breath, loss of blood through orifices, and the most common symptom, sudden death. Ag experts say the most effective way to prevent the spread in livestock is to get animals tested and vaccinated. The primary thing is vaccination. Uh, vaccination is uh, very effective and it's one of the better vaccines that we have. Uh, other things that people can do is, um, you know, be aware of the uh, conditions on your pastures. And if you're noticing that the cattle are spending a lot of in a, uh, it's getting grazed down a little bit and they're spending a lot more time in those low areas, those are um, higher risk areas. The most common route of infection is by ingestion of the bacterial spores from forage, soil, or water, or animals coming into contact with a contaminated area with an open skin wound. Anthrax is not contagious like the flu, though. Dr. Andres says local vets have had success containing the disease within a herd by prescribing antibiotics. We have some really good antibiotics um, uh, we use, that we can use to treat in the face of an infection. And so typically when we get out and have a herd that we suspected, if we can get in with vaccine and antibiotics, we can usually stop it very quickly. Ag leaders say if ranchers suspect an anthrax infection, contact a local veterinarian immediately. Anthrax tests, antibiotics, and vaccines are available through local departments and take about a week for immunity to be established once administered. Kiara Brown, KX News. Department of Agriculture leaders say proper disposal of a dead, infected animal is also crucial to containing that spread. We have a fact and tip sheet on anthrax in this story on our website at over at kxnet.com.